Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to screenshot on Android 11. Now there are a couple of different ways to do it. You can also download a third party app that'll just basically screenshot for you, but you basically have like a button laying down everywhere. Now this is a Pixel 2, but do keep in mind on pretty much any other device that has a volume button and power buttons. This is pretty much how you do it. Now you can do the standard way of holding down the volume down button while you're trying to hold down the power button. So hold these two down for the same time and you'll get this little thing. Now what you can do is click on here. You can go ahead and edit the screenshot however you want to. I don't know why it takes like an additional second for it to actually like load into the thing, but it's totally okay. And you can go ahead and you know, draw on it, do whatever you want to, it doesn't matter. And you can go ahead and share it off here too. But now with Android 11, there is another way to actually screenshot it. And it's actually way cooler than I was expecting it. First of all, let's just say you're in an app. Let's just say you're in the Play Store, for example. So let me load this up. And let's say I wanted to screenshot this thing. But instead of having to actually turn your phone around and holding down the power button and the volume down button, what you can do instead on the Pixel devices, I'm pretty sure it's for a lot of other devices too, and you can enable this in the settings, is if you go swipe up from the multitasking panel, you'll see a couple of different options in the bottom. So you'll see, you know, select, you'll see share, but on the very left, you'll see screenshot. So what you can do is tap on that screenshot and it'll actually take a screenshot, not of that whole page, but just of that specific app that you're in. And as you can see, it's the same process. I can draw on it, do whatever you want to. And this is really, really cool. Let's say I'm in my phone or I have a message or something. I want to screenshot somebody, but I don't want to go and, you know, pull up my whole entire phone. You can actually just go here, take a screenshot of it and go from there instead of having to, you know, shimmy your fingers around, which is really cool. So that's a really awesome thing that we now have the capability of within the settings within Android 11. So like I said before, you have the standard way holding down the power button and the volume down button at the same time. That's usually how you do it on a majority of Android devices, especially running Android 11. But now instead of doing that, you can boot up any page that you want to hop up, get into the multitasking panel and literally just click screenshot. And you can go ahead and screenshot that specific page that you're in as well. So that's really pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Tutlin.